uh, welcome to the Fashion and Games panel, which we now uh, called the Wardrobe Theory panel, which um, Walter gave us uh, the name of her previous column at Pace Magazine. Um, basically, we're going to discuss in a semi-disorganized manner uh, fashion and video games, um, and we have assembled a collection of pictures. Um, we actually, um, I should introduce all of you. Um, Matty uh, is an incredible uh, lady of <laughs> amazing criticism and words, and um, you might be familiar with her work on the internet. Um, <laughs> and we have Christine Love, who uh, makes um, really great um, guests video games, is that what they're called? Um, <laughs> I have no idea. Um, <laughs> and they are. Um, and we also have Gita, who I uh, previously mentioned. She uh, wrote um, an amazing column of Pace Magazine um, on fashion and video games. And um, I guess you still write words on the internet. You still write words on the internet. Okay, good. <laughs> and also we have Tim Rogers, who is the uh, CEO of Action Buttons. of what they thought was not necessarily good, not necessarily bad, but interesting clothes, items, accessories, whatever, fashion, talking points in games. Uh, uh, we sort of did that, uh, but then I sort of asked people on Twitter to send me what they thought were great outfits from video games, and uh, I'll just kick over my uh, So I got a lot of, uh, like this, like I, this is no joke, uh, a lot of people retweeted my tweet, I got hundreds upon hundreds of answers, and it was mostly people sending in uh, Alucard and Cannondorf or I really, really like this guy on the right. It's a particular type of armor from the game Guild Wars uh, that the guy who sent it in felt uh, compelled to say that he, he likes it better than the prestige version of that armor, and I don't know what that means. <laughs> so, so, so people on Twitter, uh, on a, I guess uh, a lot of People think that you know this is fashionable, and I mean it's cool. It's graphic design, it's character design, it's costume design. Uh, none of this is dysfunctional. You would never see someone wearing this, and it's not like I, uh, you know, I'm trying to say video game fashion should be functional. But uh, so a lot of people sent in Luca uh, from Chrono Trigger. So these are just my introduction slides. Uh, but uh, Lu Luca from Chrono Trigger got a lot of people going. She's definitely the best outfit in all video games, and I'm like. That's weird. Uh, I mean, it's it's cool. I think she's cool. She's got purple hair and a hammer, and she's got like a thing. But uh, uh, a lot. I mean, I like Kira Toriyama a lot. He designs cool stuff: clothes, housewares, cars, uh, houses. You know, he he's just a great industrial and fashion designer in his art. And I, for me personally, to summarize myself, I think this character Kluk from Blue Dragon, that uh, the one on the right, that Toriyama designed in 2006. I think that is a really fantastic outfit. So I think maybe there's something in the middle here that is missing, and the rest of this presentation could be about that, maybe it could be about something else. How's that? So these slides will autoplay. Uh, every two minutes it'll change, but we can change them manually. I uh, thought maybe it would be less of a reach for me to manually change a slide, but uh, here it is. So. Uh, a lot of people mentioned Pokemon Trainers, uh, and uh, the, the Pokemon Trainer from Pokemon Black looks really good. And I put him alongside the protagonist from the game Deus Ex Human Revolution, which also got a lot of votes. Uh, so I thought there weren't a lot of dudes that got sent in, which is good. Uh, but also, I mean, why not? I don't know, dudes can, I, I think this Pokemon Trainer dude is pretty cool looking. Uh, very practical, and very, very slick. But this guy, this Deus Ex Human Revolution guy, it's very interesting that so many people pointed him out. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, the Deus Ex guy? Well, I think that uh, what's really fascinating to me about uh, a lot of, I don't think this is working, uh, but a lot of like guys' fashions is that usually like a 
jacket or a coat like kind of takes over the entire thing. Um, and look at all the texture that's on it. Like he's in like a he's a side he's in like the future, right? He's like a cyborg dude, right? So I think it's really interesting that he has a lot of like texture going on as if he like sleek, you know, as most like technology things tend to be. Um, so I think that especially with his very large shoulders too. That's not like his immense fashion, which is interesting. Besides, like, you know, you see Pokemon Boy, that's going to have a collage. You know, he's a teen, I guess. You're like 12 in there. Um, and then you have like this dude whose shoulders go past all other parts of his body. <laughs> <laughs> Largely. And so it's kind of like this, like, what I think is really interesting about like gender and stuff in fashion and when, how you want to flag is that they, they wanted to make sure that you knew that this was a guy. So um, we're going to make his shoulders a foot long each. <laughs> um, all right. Um, okay, we went to the next slide. So, um, oh, I, I didn't have anything to have say one. about this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to talk about Adam Adam Jensen just That's for a little bit. I, I, uh, I absolutely do. Okay. Yeah. No, actually, they have a lot of things to say about Adam Jensen and that like costume. Really long in San Francisco is what I. Uh, I there's something interesting know. about San the. <laughs> Um, but there's something about the fashion in the game in particular where uh, the design team talked a little bit about trying to actually extrapolate from current fashion trends how they thought people would dress like in line with the sort of overarching themes of the game where this is a Detroit that has again become like a huge technological city that has a lot of industry and so but it's Everyone's wearing like Jacobean ruffs and stuff, and so it's a very sort of simple, like very easily easy to identify uh, version of, of that thing. Where like, oh, everyone's very decadent now. Like we all like live in this incredible city where this dude has a fucking robot arm or whatever. Um, but then Adam Jensen is like literally the most boring piece of fashion of the whole game, and it really surprises me that people thought he was so interesting. Yeah. It was, it, it got like a lot of weird votes, uh, or not weird votes, it's like a lot of people being like, yeah, this is really good, and I think maybe the interpreted the question is what looks like something someone would wear in real life, and it's all nice, I mean, I don't know, it looks very expensive, you know. It does. I mean, it that's, that's, I can say that, but it also I mean, it looks, looks like the only outfit that that man owns. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it changes like the undershirt. Like, 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 when you look at the Pokemon trainer designs, you can see like, oh, I know what this person's closet looks like. They put this Various bits and pieces, whereas I'm pretty sure Jensen just has one jacket and it smells terrible. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps it in like a plastic coffin. Or he, like, open, he open up his wardrobe and it's just like 50 of the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Adam Jensen's With the Pokemon guy, I feel like he wears those sneaks with every outfit. Like, yeah, definitely right? those are his favorite mm -hmm. pair of sneakers. But he's like got a lot of different other clothes. They all just sort of mesh into that sort of, you know, 12 to 14 year old where maybe like a little bit of hip hop every now and then kind of guy. Yeah, and Adam Jensen just like literally only wear that. I feel like that's the difference between, you know, fashion and character design. Yeah. Character design is this person has one very striking look, whereas like fashion is, oh, I know this person dresses like. Yeah. Speaking of, this is definitely character design. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, these two characters got mentioned so many times that I felt like, well, you know. This is a Tetsuya Nomura. So, right. Tetsuya Nomura is, in my, my impression, I've never met the guy. Maybe he's cool. He's probably cool. You know, whatever. He's probably like, super cool. But uh, a lot of his, this is his earlier-ish work. It's like, yeah, he really wanted to design clothes and couldn't That's couldn't figure that, out how to do it for real. Yeah, the leg brace. How? The, 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 yeah. I don't know. Do you think like is it a stocking? It's just one fucking knee pad, is what it is. Just one knee pad. Yeah. How is it a knee pad? It's flare. Yeah. And plus her pants yeah. don't say flare. Like her pants don't have a flare. She's a pretty piece of flare all along her face. I feel like I can't tell from here it's the knee pad glasses. Does she just have like a weird series of straps around her titties? Yeah. Just <laughs> Yeah, it goes it goes around. It's a window. It's a it's a shirt window. It's, yeah.
This is more Tetsuya Nomura. Uh, this is from a, sl a later, yeah. This is from the game The Bouncer. Uh, the, the, on the left is the main character. Oh, his name is Sion. I guess I know that. I'm sorry. Uh, he, he's, wear, he's dressed sort of like Soda from Kingdom Hearts, uh, which is, hey, the same guy. It looks like he is cosplaying a guy from a game that came out a couple years later. And this, which is, uh, maybe he's psychic. And he, uh, I don't know. But this guy on the right, Volt, he's got little devil horns. Uh, this guy got sent in a couple of times, which is weird. He rules, man. Look at look at those cuffs on those jeans. They are rolled up. His jeans are like five feet long. Yeah. Like this is almost a thing a human being would wear. He's he's wearing circus like stilt jeans. Like <laughs> they're rolled up to his knees. My older brother did this when he like hadn't yet reached his full height, but like wanted to wear a jeans. Like, right. Yeah. Yeah. Like he would just be swimming in them, and then he cuffed them all the way up to his knees. This is like this is how a twelve year old thinks an adult dress. Right. Like, so in, in in Japan, the jean cuff is a thing. Like people actually will buy jeans that are too long. And then when they get them hemmed, they will roll them up. Like dudes do this, and they'll be like, they'll roll them up to here, and they'll they'll tell the guy at the shop, I want them right here, and they'll like point, you know, I want them like right there, and get it hemmed up there, which is weird. Uh, but also, I mean, I don't know. I guess that's cool. So he's like an extreme case of that. What do you feel like on the haircuts? The haircuts. Uh, his. When were the, what, what year? This is like 2001. This is 2001. So, yeah. so like seeing kids who are happy. Right. This yeah. was like an actual thing. Right. It looked equally ridiculous in real life, right. but as like a, a you know, eleven year old who was just becoming attracted to men, I was like, this is obviously the coolest thing. <laughs> 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 oh, now we move like uh, and now it's much farther in the future. A couple well much more confused. <laughs> okay, so these are character designs by uh, Akihiko Yoshida. Yeah. He did Final Fantasy Tactics. His uh, he does obviously this far more ornate uh, style. Uh, so the, on the left is uh, Balthier, uh, on the right is a guy named Ashley Wright from the game Vagrant Story. Has anybody played that? Yeah. Game rules. Uh, yeah. Game rules. Uh, anyway, you can see in this screenshot that his pants do have no butt, yeah. if you can see that. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, Yes, yes. And I'm like extremely down with that specific show. <laughs> and like, I think this kind of thing is like actually more in line with high fashion than people really think. Oh yeah. Okay. yeah. This like, uh, this Ashley Ryan actually, like you could expect if he, you know, put the sword down. Like that That looks like something you would see at and a I love the other guy fashion like, show. Brocade vest. Oh yeah. It's, uh, it's really beautiful. Beautiful. And honestly, if this is your one takeaway of your man, please like this person like that. <laughs> That if you do find that vest, it's probably going to be made of silk, and it's going to be probably very expensive. But I think it's interesting so. that it's like the very textured leather pants, like that mm -hmm. is beyond expensive. Like that is like out of this world. I don't know how you. It's, it's like, like, like one guy in Italy me, like, spends a year on that. Like, <laughs> This is uh, Miley and Rock from the King of Fighters series. Yeah. Uh, so Miley is, she's from Korea. I don't know if you can tell from the bell button. Uh, so I'm very, sure. <laughs> very proud of being from Korea. Yeah, they're wearing shoes that are uh, pretty cool. Uh, I think the whole thing about these characters is cool. They're supposed to look like they're able to fight. Yeah, I'm so. pretty into the guy on the right. I love that jacket. It's really, really cool. Um, King of Fighters has a lot of great jackets. This is probably around the time. Fighters for a long time was a was a yearly franchise. So every year, uh, which is one of the, the cooler, more interesting things, every year their outfits would change a little bit like according to trends, the artists' whims. Uh, so you ended up seeing people who looked like they were naturally buying new clothes. Uh, so I don't know what year 
Brandon Sheffield was in the audience. You know what year? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, uh, May, uh, May Lee is from 2001 there. Yeah. And that rock is actually, I think that is from the Garou time in the late 90s. Oh, 99. Yeah. I think, so here's the thing I feel like I've never seen, I'm going to just, I'm sorry, I'm going to judge this person. Okay, I'm sorry. Which, which, which one? Uh, this one. Rock is a guy. Yeah. 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 So I've never seen a guy wear a jacket that goes up here. Oh, man. But I like that. I like it. I'm like, more guys should like kind of have this sort of, because it gives a sleek look, and it kind of shows off the belt. Mm-hmm. It allows for like something tighter underneath. And I kind of, so I'm kind of digging that. I really like just how they express athleticism without looking right. unlike a character design. Like, these feel like very much, you, you can glean a lot about these kinds of characters from these outfits, but I don't feel like they would be a natural beer for them to get in a street fight. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. The most important thing in King of Fighters is Butch Women. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. That's her. That's her. Yeah. That's so good. On the left is King, and then the, on the right is Mature. Fantastic. But the code is great, especially yeah. because it doesn't actually like warm in any 
So uh, this this coincidence was a uh, way too good to pass it. <laughs> On the right we have uh, this is this is like okay so dudes in video games tend to be wearing like trench coats or army jackets, and beards and mullets and eye patches and uh, what kind of what else? There's football shoulder pads, right? Bandanas. I'm trying to think like I think that's it. I think that's the whole thing. Motorcycle boots. Uh, yeah yeah big boots. But uh, here we've got uh, Terry Bogart. From a Mark of the Wolves. Is this? I think it's a. It, this is. He started wearing this outfit in Mark of the Wolves, which is interesting. Uh, prior to that, he wore a pretty stupid-looking red jacket. And, and he wasn't really plausibly um, ridiculous red jacket, though. Yeah. Like, I really do believe that this is the coolest thing he's ever saw. It's like, yeah, it's gonna be my thing. I'm gonna wear he's a like, full red jacket. I'm gonna wear a full red jacket. I was at Costco the other day, and there was a kid who ran up to the the Coke machine. And his dad was behind him, and the kid points at the, at the Coke, the Pepsi, and he goes, he goes, Dad, I want that one. I think that's how it's going to be. He's a great great guy, and he has stuck with it ever since. He's not as lucky. Yeah. It's, it's, it's him. But then traumatic offense befell him prior to uh, the game Mark of the Wolves, and he started dressing like this. It's the midlife crisis outfit. And uh, we've got Nathan Drake with a, a similar coat. This is Nathan Drake in his Shambhala outfit from Uncharted 2, and as the senders in of this picture, we're sure to uh, point out. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I think Terry Bogart looks cooler. I mean, not not this Nathan Drake, but. Well, I mean, Nathan Drake here is trying to look like he's actually going to do some climbing or whatever. Like yeah. the other, with a sash. Yeah, with a fun. With a sash. Yeah. <laughs> Some more, so that's, that's two. We can make fun of Nathan Drake for the rest of this convention. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> we could leave 10 minutes at the end just to make just it. To talk about <laughs> if you want, I can right. make it a race my So, so for the next, like, I think, uh, 10 or 11 slides, it's just all Jet Set Radio characters. <laughs> that's, that's a joke. It's, it's the next couple. Jet Set Radio is really, really good, and it is a game that, I mean, okay, the game's not good, I'm sorry. It's not like really it. But it is so full of real art and real fashion, and the music is some of the coolest stuff that's like ever been in a game, I guess. It's like legitimately game, I mean, it's legitimately cool. Like, some games have some stuff that's kind of cool, but all the stuff in Jet Set Radio is like actually like super cool. And definitely like the music ties in with the fashion in that case. Like this is all about the entire aesthetic logic. You're closing, here's some music definitely is cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but uh, when you shoot, I remember my, my impression of 
modern video game cool was when I played the Uncharted 1 and I headshot a guy and the bullet clearly got him right in the face. And Nathan Drake goes, shave in the haircut. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh, that's, I'm like, that's hilarious, but is it cool? <laughs> I said on Twitter, send me a picture of your favorite team outfit, but like 50 people, the landslide winner was Splatoon has the best clothes, but no one sent a picture. So I was very interested in that because it's just like just anything from Splatoon. So that's interesting. I feel like then you sent a picture. Like really comes for my thesis of like about fashion on character design because, you know, you, you really do have a wardrobe. You literally have a wardrobe in the game. You sort of are trying to piece together like what looks good, what goes with power ups I want. Yeah. But also what accessories like will look good together. Yeah. I mean you're not gonna be able to dress like it's a very limited palette of sort of the kind of look that you can It's surprisingly not limited. Like it's definitely like going from like a very specific style but at the same time like you have a range of like you know like we both have like some very crappy looks to, you know yeah. I really do which like fashionable <laughs>
Well, the good game is the world ends with you. I love that game. <laughs> <laughs> Your game looks great. And all of the
probably JRPGs, I should say. I think like the, my idea like men's fashion is coming from JRPGs and men have no like your know, intent and not at all. I don't know about that. But um, I think it's just so fascinating because of the shapes it makes, because especially adolescent boys tend to not be formed very differently from each other. And so I think it's just so interesting that like there's so many methods through fashion to kind of control the shape, which is usually performed on people who want who want to present as them. You're supposed to like shape yourself in like a very particular way, and men shape is less so controlled. And I find that interesting about like even something simple like this does that. Well, there's been a trend in the past couple of years. It probably has nothing to do with this game, but mm-hmm. sort of like men's fashion runway models becoming more and more spelt mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> to the point where um, the mannequins for men's fashion have become smaller and smaller. Um, and there is just like a way more emphasis on like the actual like men do have like defined waists and hips, right? And that's become clearer and clearer. But in I guess in Japan where that's more prevalent, like there's a little bit more, yeah, you know, um, or there's less of an emphasis on it, but whatever, it just shows up more there. Whenever I go to Japan, I buy uh, my shirts at the good stand. I take my jacket off and show you how strange it is. Shirts, and, uh, <laughs> it's not. It's not a, not a normal shirt, but I don't know. So it's a helicopter cover for something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, she looks like she's leaning. All right, you said this is uh, Faith from Mirror's Edge, and uh, uh, nobody sent, strangely, nobody sent any Capcom card to me, and that made me even sad. So, uh, uh, Street Fighter. Yeah, so this is Street Fighter Alpha 2. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she looks real cool. Her shoes are cool. She's yeah, really good. Really strong on the slide. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like I do something. I actually think I like Kate's outfit that they're using in the commercial art for Mary's Edge 2. A little bit better than the original. I think it has a lot of community in the past. She's going to be wearing. Just like, it makes sense for what she does with her job. And also, like, monochrome outfits are fine. I wrote actually about this with my Burger 3 panel, and I, I do like it just it's sort of like a look. It's a real look in a real trend that it, it, it shows it very easily, like, succinctly. But um, it's it's hard to recognize it as like a real outfit because it's just something you wear for work after a while. And with it becomes like a little more fashion when you add this like very intense like goth like tech ninja like vest in there. I think that so I like when, like with playing with words. Whenever I think about whenever someone asks me about fashion, right? I tend to say like, well, sure, obviously it's about clothes and stuff, but I also think about to fashion, to fashion something as well, you put something together. And I think that that is also where something becomes like, oh, I'm just wearing clothes, or I am now kind of performing fashion for example, where like I intentionally created something to form a purpose. And so sometimes it's just like clothes, because like, oh, I'm done with this on, like whatever. But then like fashion, I find, you know, kind of, like, I'm now distracted by this really What is that? Why 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 Like studded and also for the fur. The cot pieces. Uh, it's very strange, but I don't know. Someone sent this, and a lot of people sent a lot of jokes. <laughs> okay. I don't know if this was one. <laughs> but I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this, is, this game does not take place in our world. It takes place in a slightly different prehistoric-ish uh, one where you kill monsters, make steaks out of them. You're hunting them. Yeah, you're hunting them. Yeah, you're hunting them. Yeah, you're hunting them. Yeah, and you wear these weird clothes. But, uh... I like how they have garters, too. Like, these yeah. out-of-place garters. They both have garters. Yeah, they both. Yeah. They both have cotton pieces and garters. You know, so it's kind of like... I do like that the gender variation is only very slight in these two outfits. So they both have the basic form and shape. They both have the not just the hot pieces, but the weird like hip yeah. things they are jetting off, which you usually see in like more feminine characters. But they both got. And I kind of like that the mask character still has the sash covering the hips. Yeah. You know, kind of like the same amount of like slightly different, the exact same. Yeah. It's for modesty. <laughs> the only huge difference is the girl has more visible hair. Yeah, a whole bunch of hair. Yeah, like a lot of it. And this is 
character for Journey. <laughs> I like the character from Journey a lot. Uh, that's all <laughs> how, how do you think the fashion of video games in general can be improved? Is there something that people should like look more into that you think has been neglected? Or? Well, I think, uh, like you know, pointed out, like, there's a difference between like character design and fashion design, and that those two need to like, kind of work in harmony as opposed to kind of dominating the others. So, like for instance, like there are what well, people tend to do clothes, like okay, we need to make sure that this uh, this thing is communicated about this character. So we're gonna make everything just kind of whatever. So like let's say bayonetta, which could be an interesting topic for clothing if her hair is closed, is that like okay? So we need to make sure that you know she's sexy. She kind of looks like a like a late '70s like American porn star as interpreted by a Japanese person. And it's kind of really strange that everything kind of follows into that. But it doesn't really talk about her herself. It's just a mechanic, right? Like her outfit is just the thing that does. And so I'm kind of interested in like <coughs> outfits that more particularly have a reason to be on a person as opposed to just left. Well, I mean, in the same vein, like there's, um, you know, the Samus issue where she got heels. Right. And it was yeah. a big deal where people were like, well, first of all, why? Yeah. Because. It's not, obviously it's not practical, but it is also still a video game, which is essentially a fantasy. Right. So you can really like it, but I think it's a modern game. I think if your game is set in a world that demands oh. that the character do things that have limitations, it's just a great game. It's like you're kind of asking that for there be some degree of practicality in the universe that is dressed. Well, that's not the case. Like, I really like Brighton's hot heels. <laughs> Part of the people to the bathroom. 